Show your support. Join the discussion in the comments. Hello, I am That British Guy and welcome to a quick discussion video. Now, Evolution was last week and we had Crown Jewel as well this past week and that was a thing. But more specifically with Evolution I want to focus and I also want to focus on two of the champions, namely Ronda Rousey and Shayna Baszler. Now, when these two came into the WWE company, there were many similarities between them, but I also want to talk about some of the differences because I feel that Shayna Baszler is performing her role better than Ronda Rousey. And I just kind of want to open up a discussion with this, uh, let you guys know my feelings, and if you want to sound off in the comments below and basically argue against me for being wrong, then <laughs> feel free. Now, similarities between them, obviously when they were brought into the company, there was a lot of fanfare with the pair of them. They were brought in at very high profile uh, moments. Ronda Rousey obviously was brought in at the end of the Royal Rumble pay-per-view, just after the first ever women's Royal Rumble match, which kind of overshadowed Asuka's win. Cheers for that. And Shayna Baszler was brought into the first Mae Young Classic tournament in 2017 and managed to make it all the way to the final before losing to Kyrie Saint. From there, they kind of went off onto their own brands, obviously Shayna Baszler on NXT and Ronda Rousey on Raw. And they were given a lot of focus as soon as they arrived and they were also given title opportunities pretty much straight away at the first sort of major pay-per-view event after them arriving, pretty much. Obviously Ronda Rousey had to kind of get past the uh, WrestleMania match first, uh, because obviously you're going to debut someone of that magnitude at WrestleMania, but once we go beyond that, the first opportunity she was given a title match. And they both kind of fell at the first hurdle and then claimed titles on the second attempt. Obviously Ronda won via disqualification at Money in the Bank, but then was successful at, excuse me, that's fireworks going off in the background, was successful at uh, SummerSlam. And Shayna Baszler was unsuccessful at TakeOver Philadelphia, but then won later in the year at New Orleans. And kind of ever since then, they have been positioned as kind of the dominant force on their brands, quite rightly so, as they are the champions. However, this is kind of where the similarities end and the differences begin. So if we start off with Ronda Rousey, my main issue that I have with her is she has sort of two m moods, if you like. She goes from smiley, happy, wavy Ronda Rousey, I love being here, waving to the crowd, and then she transitions into mean face, mm, gonna break your arm, which is kind of jarring. I, I kind of see that they want to position her as somebody who can connect with the audience, but also show her as being a badass. Sort of like Stone Cold was, but I feel like Becky Lynch is being kind of better at it at the moment, and always has been better at that kind of, kind of a tweener role, where if she's that much of a badass, she kind of needs to show tweener-ish characteristics, and she does do that, like beating up security guards and things like that. But because she comes from the smiley, happy, wavy, oh, isn't it lovely to be here, Ronda, straight into that, it's quite jarring. And her matches are sort of formulaic, whereby she's built up on such a high pedestal that the only way anyone can overcome her is with kind of shady tactics or numbers disadvantage, things like that. But the problem is that kind of catches her unaware immediately. And the commentators are putting this over as her inexperience. But obviously she's been doing this for quite a few months now and she's still falling for the same tricks again and again. And it's kind of getting to the point where she needs to be shown to be preempting this a bit more and kind of not getting caught out with distractions from the likes of Brie Bella or 
um, kind of Alexa Bliss's manipulation of the referee, things like that, getting the referee out of position so that she can take cheap shots at her. So it'll be very interesting to see how she fares against Becky Lynch, a character that is quite possibly going to use some of these shady tactics, but also somebody that you believe could completely out-wrestle her. Because that's the other thing. She, This pedestal that she's been put on, it seems like nobody could out-wrestle her, even though she's only been doing it for a few months. Yes, obviously she's got the UFC background and is quite a dab hand within sort of judo throws, things like that. But obviously professional wrestling is a lot more than just throwing your opponent around. And every now and then she does kind of the corner fist flurry bits and pieces, which is great. But that's kind of all there is to her. It's getting somebody in a corner and pummeling them a bit, or judo throwing them ready for putting them in the armbar. And that's kind of the other thing. She never really feels like she ever works on an arm much before putting them in the armbar. Whereas if we move over to Shayna Baszler's character, it's very consistent. Her promo work is a lot better, I think, or at least a lot more consistent than Ronda Rousey's. Ronda Rousey's been better of late, but still quite inconsistent. Whereas everything that Shayna says, I believe. And I believe that she could basically take any opponent that is thrown in front of her and snap them in half and not care that she's done it. No part of her character is different at any point from when she's talking, from when she's even just walking down the, the to the ring, um, or when she's involved in a match. And the only time she really feels kind of in peril is when she's up against the likes of a Kyrie Sane, where they are a prolific and highly experienced wrestler, and she sometimes gets outmaneuvered by them and out-wrestled by them, and sometimes that meanness and kind of just the will to do anything, like what she did to Dakota Kai with the whole arm thing, brilliant, um, but sometimes when a character like Kairi Sane can kind of outmaneuver that, like she did at TakeOver Brooklyn 4, where Shayna's own hold was kind of held against her and she was pinned and lost the NXT women's title. That's a classic example of her kind of being a bit too overzealous, um, good at what she does, but again, slightly inexperienced and out-wrestled by a very, very prolific wrestler who has been doing it for years and years and years all around the world. Now, obviously, she's countered this slightly by taking on uh, Marina Shafir and Jessamine Duke to kind of have her back now and the three of them together can kind of protect each other in that and obviously the aura that she's built up for herself she can kind of transpose that onto the other two whereas obviously Ronda is kind of just on as I said this pedestal right at the top of the Raw Women's Division where nobody can touch her and it's getting to the point where I'm kind of getting bored of her being at the top of the division. Now, I know Shayna obviously lost the title and has only just got it back, and that is a bit of a shame for Kyrie. Um, and I don't really think does her any favours, considering um, the amount of work she kind of has been putting in since she won the May Young Classic. It seems like Shayna's come out of that a lot better, having been the runner-up. But I wouldn't have minded Shayna retaining at Brooklyn 4, and nearly losing by the kind of pinning her to the mat while she's got the uh, Kira Fuda clutch on. And then obviously needing the help of her friends at Evolution in order to kind of make sure that she keeps hold of the gold. That doesn't bother me at all. And I wasn't getting sick of her matches or her as a character. She... She seemed beatable by the right opponent, and we were getting to that point, and obviously she was beaten um, ever so slightly, and now she's had to kind of find another suit of armour to put on over what she already had, just to kind of iron out those kinks. But because she's not Mrs. Invincible, if you like, it makes it slightly more interesting, because she is able to be beaten by the right opponent, and you're not quite sure who that's going to be or when that's going to be. Whereas I fully expect Ronda Rousey to hold on to the Raw Women's title until 
probably beyond WrestleMania, to be honest. I have a feeling she will go in as the champion, or she will lose it before the Royal Rumble, win the Royal Rumble, and then regain the title at WrestleMania. It will be one or other of those two things. Obviously, she will go past Becky Lynch at Survivor Series. I'm fully expecting that. And the problem is there's not really anybody else on the Raw roster, really, that could beat her. Possibly a Sasha Banks, but with her being a face character, I don't know whether you kind of turn her heel but then really they should have turned her heel by now on Bailey in order to kind of see further than the front of their nose in terms of storytelling so she's kind of running out of credible opponents I suppose the next sensible route would probably be Ruby Riot because she's got two enforcers with her and she only just Ronda only just managed to get past the Bella twins so now she's got three people to worry about but the only issue with that is the Riot Squad have been booked into oblivion. So because she is on such a high pedestal, I just, I don't care. And I'd much rather see Shayna Baszler matches. I'd much rather be invested in her storyline going forward. I'm more invested in her character. And I realise a lot of this is how she's been booked. But I think the way she wrestles as well is just more interesting. Whether that's because she's spending more time, obviously, in the Performance Centre where she's still down in NXT and Ronda Rousey has gone straight on to the main roster, I don't know. And I can understand they didn't want to put Ronda Rousey down on NXT. She needed to come in and be kind of the cornerstone of their flagship show. But maybe giving her the title straight away was a bad move. Maybe they should have held off until maybe about now, possibly even the Royal Rumble. Whereas... Shayna with the title, it just worked. And whether they were trying to repeat that then with with Ronda, I don't know. But it's just, it's not clicking for me. Obviously, this is just my opinions. Um, if you've got any other view on this, please sound off in the comments below and let me know what you think about things. Do you prefer Shayna Baszler? Are you pleased now that she's got Duke and Shafir in her corner? Or are you more of a Ronda Rousey fan? Please let me know your thoughts. Until next time, I've been That British Guy and I will see you very soon. Goodbye.